Welcome to Embedded Master X. In this tutorial, we will be interfacing serial UART communication with PIC32 microcontroller. As discussed in the previous episodes, I will be using this PIC32 starter kit along with this IO extension board. As you can see, in this PIC32 starter kit, we do not have any UART communication port. So, I will be using this USB to TTL converter. This USB to TTL converter contains THD RHD pins. So, I will connect these THD and RHD pins to the IO expansion pins. Now, you need to download the IO expansion board information sheet to know which pins has what functionalities. Let's say this. I have already downloaded this IO expansion board information sheet. You can download it from Google. In my IO expansion board, I have J10, J10 and J11 marking. So, I look for the J10 and J11 markings. So this is the J10 and J11. So as you can see here is the UART two pins available. This is the RX pin and TX pin. So I'll connect the TX and RX pin of the TTL converter to this RX and the TX pin which is the 46 and the 48 pin. And then I'll connect VCC to 5 volt and then ground to the ground. So this was about the hardware connection. Now let's talk about the program of the serial communication. Microchip provides PIC32 peripheral libraries. So you need to download the PIC32 peripheral library document. This is the document. Uh, Microchip has already made all the functions for the peripherals like UART, SPI, I2C. So in this tutorial we will be talking about the UART function. So let's directly jump to the UART functions. Here. There are many UART functions available for our program. We will be using this open UART function. This open UART function initializes the UART channel and its related parameters. And apart from this open UART function, we'll be using this put SUART function to put the data to the terminal. So in this tutorial, we will be sending uh, our data to the terminal. Now I have already built, the, I have already made the program. Let's talk about the program. Here I have included all the header files I used in the program. Here is the baud rate of 115200. Now here I have used this open UART function. This Open UART function has few parameters. This UART in EN function defines, uh, sorry, initializes the UART channel. This UART node parity bit, this uh, initializes the 8 bit parity mode. This is for the one stop bit. This is for the, this is for RX enable, this is for TX enable, and this is related to the baud rate. After this, inside my while one loop, I have included this put as UART function, which will send this data to the terminal and this delay ms function so let's build this program build is successful you can see the program for this CL communication in PIC32 is very easy let's make our device programming has also been done So now we have to open the device manager to check which COM port we are right now connected to. So I'll open computer system properties device manager and here ports we are connected to the COM7. So I'll be using this Doclight software but if you don't have this software you can still use PuTTY, Hyperterminal, Teraterm, Blueterm, any other software, terminal software. So go to the tools, project settings and select COM7. Baud rate as 115200, click OK and open our channel. So I am receiving the data which I am sending from my controller to the device. So this was all about sending data and using serial communication in PIC32. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe and comment your views. Thank you.